microservices versus API. So let's check what actually these are. An API is a contract that provides guidance for a consumer to use the underlying service. A microservice is an architectural design that separates portions of an application into small self-containing services. This means an API is usually a portion of microservices. But that's not it. In this video, we'll be learning all the details about microservices and API. So let's move on with the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. First, let us understand what exactly microservice is. A microservices architecture divides an application into smaller self-contained parts. Every application procedure is handled by these units as a separate service. As a result, each service has its own logic and database, as well as the ability to perform specialized operations. Some of the examples of microservices are passenger management, billing system, driver management, payment systems, trip management, notification systems, etc. Now you must be wondering why choose microservices design to create applications. So let us discuss some of the strengths of microservices architecture. Independent components. All of the services can be deployed and updated separately, allowing later flexibility. Secondly, a problem in a microservice affects only that service and does not affect the entire application. In addition, adding new features to a microservice application is significantly easier than adding them to a monolithic program. Easier understanding. A microservice application is easier to comprehend and manage since it is broken down into smaller and simpler components. You can focus on a single service that is tied to a specific business goal. More scalability. Another benefit of using microservices is that each component may be scaled independently. As a result, the entire process is less expensive and time consuming than uh, with monolithic architectures, where the entire program must be scaled even if it is not required. Furthermore, every monolithic has a scalable limitations. Therefore, the more people you add, the more trouble uh, you'll have with the monolithic architecture. As a result, many businesses must uh, be redesigning their monolithic architectures. The last strength is high agility. A microservices application's uh, fault affects only a single service, not the entire system. As a result, all of the adjustment and trials are carried out with fewer risks and fewer errors. After discussing the strengths, let us discuss some weaknesses also. So it is more complex. Because a microservices architecture is a distributed system, you must choose and configure all of the modules and databases. Furthermore, if an application has independent services, each one must be deployed separately. System distribution. Because a microservices architecture is a complicated system with various modules and databases, all connections must be properly managed. Testing. When developing a microservices application, you'll have to deal with a number of issues that are common to all of them. Externalized configuration, logging, metrics, health checks and other features are among them. Cross-cutting issue. Testing a microservices based solution is substantially more difficult due to large number of separately deployable components. Now let us take a look at uh, monolithic architecture. Monolithic architecture is regarded as a conventional method of developing applications. A monolithic application is made up of a single indivisible piece of software. A client-side user interface, a server-side program, and a database are typically included in such a system. It is unified with all functions handled and served from a single location. Monolithic applications are characterized by a single big code base and a lack of modularity. Developers use the same code base when they wish to update or replace something. As a result, they make changes to the entire stack at the same time. Let us discuss some of the strengths of the monolithic architecture. Easy debugging and testing. Monolithic programs, in contrast to mo uh, microservices architecture, are significantly easier to debug and test. Because monolithic software is a single indivisible entity, end-to-end -end testing may be completed significantly more quickly. Easier deployment. Another benefit of monolithic programs simplicity. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in software engineering, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification program on software engineering and application development by ENICT Council of IIT Guwahati. And it is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job. Now let's continue with the session. 
is their ease of deployment. When it comes to monolithic applications, you only have to deal with one file or directory deployment. Less cost cutting worries. Problems that influence the entire application such as logging, handling, caching and performance monitoring are examples of cross cutting concerns. This section of functionality only affects one application in a monolithic program making it easier to manage. After discussing the strengths, now let us discuss some weaknesses. Understanding. So when a monolithic application scales up, it becomes too complicated to understand. Also a complex system of code with one application is hard to manage. Making changes. It is harder to implement changes in such a large complex application with highly tight coupling. Any change affects the whole system so it has to be thoroughly coordinated. This makes the deployment process much longer. Scalability You cannot scale components independently, only the whole application. New technology barriers It is extremely problematic to apply new technology in a monolithic application because the entire application has to be rewritten. Now what is an API? The API or application programming interface is a communication tool that allows two services to communicate with one another. An API can't uh, accomplish anything until it's linked to something else, like a phone that's just lying there. When the API is connected to other services and microservices such as uh, functions as a service, machine learning as a service, software as a service, etc. Actions of API The API is how users will be able to access the microservice. The API distributes your services instead of downloading software or inserting it into a disk. Because the API is communicating a tool between the microservices architecture's service, it is crucial for it to function. There would be a lot of disconnected microservices if it there wasn't an API service. APIs are extremely versatile. You can uh, create APIs on any containerized service. You can also use uh, many different languages such as uh, Java, Python, Go to name a few. And you can also deploy APIs on any one of the major cloud providers also. APIs can improve your services usability as well as its visibility. You can offer smaller services now as distribution has made uh, it easier. Many APIs are RESTful and can be accessed via an endpoint similar to an HTTP endpoint. This means that getting data from an uh, API is as simple as pinging a URL. The GET, POST, PUT and DELETE commands when you use with the URL fetch or give data to the APIs as expected. The API endpoint is frequently supplied in conjunction with a developer portal that uh, instructs developers on how to use it and provides them with an API key. Now let us understand the last but the most important uh, part of today's session that is uh, the differences between microservices and API. A microservice is an architectural style or design that separates portions of an application into small self-containing services. Whereas by definition now an API is usually a portion of a microservice allowing it to interact uh, with the microservice itself. Another way to think about this is that uh, the API serves as a contract for interactions within the microservice presenting the options available for interacting with the microservice. With this we will be ending the session. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in software engineering, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification program on software engineering and application development by ENICT Council of IIT Guwahati. And it is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.